As representative of our first lead sponsor, Kirk Gallagher worked tirelessly for Coaches vs. Cancer. As his wife Georgiana would say, Coaches vs. Cancer was Kirk's baby, his pride and joy. He was a cancer survivor when he came on board and he helped create the organization we are today. He enjoyed golf and he really enjoyed this celebrity and sponsor reception. He loved his wife and his friends. And I His hard work in the early years was crucial to getting us to the point where we could truly benefit patients fighting cancer. He brought in numerous sponsors to help us grow financially, but was adamant that we grow without compromising the high level of quality that we established. Today, Georgiana continues Kirk's passion for coaches versus cancer with her support and dedication. He may have been small in stature, but he had the heart of a lion and was truly committed to see our program succeed. We miss you, Kirk. Thank you for your service and direction. May God continue to bless you and those whom you loved. Special people are drawn to our very special cause. Jeff Chambers was a very dedicated and generous supporter of CVC. He was a loving father who was taken from his children much too soon. He loved life, and he shared that love with his wife and family. Jeff had a very rare form of cancer, but this didn't stop him from being a very important part of our fundraising efforts. He'd be very happy today to know that our chapter is keeping money local to assist the needy. Jeff fought a long and hard battle against cancer. He accepted the hand he was dealt, but never stopped hoping and looking for a cure. His battle with cancer motivated him to give more and fight harder. If attitude was the only qualifier to surviving this disease, Jeff Chambers would be alive today. Say a little prayer, take a deep breath of mountain air, put on my glove, play some cats, it's time and I make time for that, wave the shore. Jeff gave whatever was asked of him and he always wanted to do more. Today, Jennifer continues Jeff's passion for coaches versus cancer with her support and dedication. We miss you, Jeff. Thank you for your generous sponsorship. May God continue to bless you and those whom you love. Wouldn't change the course of fate. You said I was in my early 40s With a lot of life before me When a moment came that stopped me on a dime the Rallis family has been a vital part of the Coaches vs. Cancer program for almost a decade. Their involvement has greatly increased since Jimmy's death in 2001. When Jimmy was first diagnosed with cancer after collapsing on Christmas Eve in 1998, he was given three to six months to live. That wasn't good enough for the family, and Terry immediately began a global campaign to find a cure and to improve the quality of Jimmy's life as he fought his battle. He said, I went sky. Rocky Mountain climbing, I went 2.7 seconds on a bull named Blue Manchu. They were pioneers in their efforts to find alternative drugs, diets, lifestyles, anything to keep their family together, which they were able to do for three more years. Jimmy and his wife Terry refused to stop fighting for life. Since his passing, the family has become a resource for others in similar situations. Although they lost Jimmy, they haven't lost their drive to help others. Jimmy's spirit lives on, and it fuels Aralis' desire to be leaders in the fight against cancer. We miss you, Jimmy. Thank you for bringing your family to CBC and for their dedication to the cause. May God continue to bless you and those whom you loved. Summer has come and passed. The innocent can never last. Wake me up when September ends. Bob Burks was a consummate committee member, or as he would probably say, a complete player. He was one of the founders of the golf tournament, the chair for the celebrity committee, and a vital member of the CVC steering committee. The firm that he worked for is a charter sponsor, and throughout the life of this tournament, he donated his own money to CVC. As wonderful as he was for our committee, he was an even better friend, son, brother, husband, and father. 
Bobby's cancer was a shock to us. It hurt the entire center region and the Penn State community. He was an excellent athlete, one of the area's greatest baseball players, whose passion for PSU athletics was unmatched. Coaches versus Cancer offered Bob the means to fight for a very good cause, and it also helped him stay connected with the sports community. When Bob first told us about his cancer, he had already accepted his situation. He put on his game face and began the fight. Unfortunately, this was one high inside pitch that Boomer couldn't quite handle. And when Bob left us last fall, we lost a very special man and a vital piece of our program. But we know that he went down swinging for the fence. We miss you, Bob. Your leadership and dedication was the win in our sales for many years. We'll never forget you or your impact on CBC. May God continue to bless you and those whom you've loved.